Welcome to Broken Barbie TV. I'm Gypsy, and right now I'm going to do a review of this doll closet that I found at Walmart. On the packaging, it's this fabulous ultra cool closet, and this closet, if you saw my Instagram post recently, it's very similar to the Barbie Ultimate closet that they have at Walmart. The only difference is that there's different colors. The Barbie one comes with a couple of extra accessories um, and outfits, and this one costs one third of the price that the Barbie closet costs. So I decided to get one of these to take a look at it because I thought at about $10 this is a pretty reasonable price. And it does say that it's only available at Walmart. Now, something interesting that I wanted to point out was that on the actual packaging, there is a picture of a Sparkle Girls doll, and I do recognize some of the clothing hanging up here as Sparkle Girls clothing. However, I'm not certain that everything in there is Sparkle Girls, like this long dress right here. It kind of reminds me of a Barbie outfit, but I don't own it, so I'm not sure if that's a Barbie dress hanging up inside there. I might see it a little bit better down here yeah so if you guys recognize that dress let me know in the comments which brand it is I just thought it was um, at first glance a Sparkle Girls uh, product because because of the stuff that I'm seeing in the pictures and I feel like you know these companies they're not just gonna use um, images of certain brands if they're, they don't have permission to do that. So I'm not really certain you guys. What do you guys think? Because I also see some shoes um, in the closet, in the picture, and they remind me of some Barbie shoes that I've seen before too. So let me know what y'all think. On the actual packaging it does say made in USA. Fabulous as if this is the brand or something. And then down here it says American Plastic Toys Inc. So I'm not really sure if this is a Sparkle Girls product, but it does say it's only at Walmart, and that's what's making me feel like they're affiliated with them, possibly, and just the style of the plastic and the coloring that's being used reminds me of some other uh, Sparkle Girls items that I've purchased before. So. I'll have to do more research on that and I'll update you guys once I find out exactly what that's all about. But I'm going to go ahead and remove this piece here because that's what is keeping this uh, packaging together. In the front, there is two doors and they both have like a see-through um, window so you can see inside and we've got what looks like a drawer here but it doesn't actually come out um, I feel like this is actually the lever that we're supposed to use to open and close it and there's more here there's one here and one here and this bow tie is like keeping it together there's a handle at the top right here that comes out that you use to carry this with so it's like a carrying case and I'm gonna open it by turning this latch like this and then you can pull it open on each side Oops. okay so what popped out were some hangers that this comes with it comes with five hangers that are blue and you just take it off of these plastic little tab things to remove them very very easy to do you don't need scissors so I'm going to hang these up right here so you can see how they fit in that space. Pretty pretty decent. We're going to try hanging up some clothes too to make sure that the dimensions are good enough. But that's just what the hangers look like. And it's solid plastic. It's actually not bad quality. It's, quite, it's not like flimsy. It's actually really thick and strong so I like that. And then this hanging majiggy thing actually comes out and you push it in to keep it in place and that is the second rack so it looks like this from the side it comes out it protrudes from 
the side. So this is like a cool little room set right here too. Um, if you want to work it into like a bedroom scene or something like that. And it has a little drawer that's supposed to pop out. Let's see. Or a cabinet or something. Does it open? Come on, open sesame. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's not an actual drawer. It's a little cabinet that opens up. You do have to kind of force it out a little bit. It might be difficult for like a young child to open and close this easily, but once you've done it a few times, I'm sure it's gonna loosen up a little bit and this is a little latch that keeps the door closed so everything doesn't fall out of it. So that's what that looks like. It's on a little hinge. I thought it was a drawer, but it's not. So that's not bad. And then right here, there are shelves got six tiers to the shelf and uh, varying sizes. The middle three are the same size, or the middle four, and then the top and the bottom are um, a little bit smaller. And that's pretty much the whole thing. I know it doesn't look like much, however, I'm just letting you guys see how the Mattel Barbie version is almost exactly the same as this. It just comes with an extra hanger, a couple pairs of shoes, um, an accessory or two, and two outfits. So, it comes with like two dresses. So because it comes with a couple extra pieces, it seems as if it's worth so much more, but the actual closet itself is literally the same thing. Um, the Barbie version has a rotating rack. It's like a round one instead of a square one like this and I'm, I'm guessing it rotates, I'm not sure, but it's round, and that's basically the difference. So, I just wanted to show you guys that for $10, you're getting, you know, just about the same thing, $30 would've bought you. Three of these cost the same thing as one of those Barbie ones. And the best thing about this, in my opinion, is that all of these little parts seem as if they're very easy to take apart. Like this blue tab right here is actually the back of the handles of the so-called drawers. Um, so I really like that because I do plan on customizing this. I'm gonna spray paint it because I hate pink, you already know. And so I'm going to take this thing apart. As you can see, it's just pieces that you like pull out and then put back in. Nothing is screwed in place. So I like that. Um, it'll probably take a little bit of muscle to get everything out properly without breaking anything But for those of you who like to customize like I do that's really really Handy because then we can make the closet kind of pop out and come to life um, Based on our imaginations, so I'm very excited about customizing this and Trying to see how it'll look once I'm done now, the other thing that the packaging boasts is that you can carry your dolls inside of this. I tried to put my Integrity doll in here, um, Griselda, but she was too tall. She wouldn't fit. So I'm going to try this doll, Xandria, which is actually a gift from one of my homies on Instagram, Alfonso. He got me this doll and she's so pretty but it looks like she fits perfectly in here she's on a made to move body and she's got an integrity toys head so let's see if I can close her up inside there ooh she's trapped oh yeah yeah she definitely fits and I also have my homegirl Santina here I want to just see if she can fit on the other side, even though that cabinet is there. I'm just going to take these out for a second. Can you fit in here? Let's see. I might have to maneuver her feet a little bit. I think she can fit. Oh, yeah. Whoa, nice. Okay. Santina also has a made-to-move body, and I just made, put her on her tippy toes so that her feet wouldn't be flat. And... That was 
what I needed to do in order to get her inside this other side of the um, closet without without not having enough room because of the cabinet on the bottom but I can fit both dolls in so that's kind of awesomeness and of course because the doors are locked you should be able to carry them around and you know they, they shouldn't pop right open so that's awesome all right let's hang some stuff up okay so I have a couple of things on hangers already and let's open this back up so it looks like this part is designed so you can hang up stuff on basically two parts of the rack. There's one part here and there's another part here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I am going to say about the hangers that if you have clothing that has wide collars, that's not probably going to work well on these hangers because they're kind of slippery and see how the clothes just want to move around on them. So I suggest using what I use which are pipe cleaners and turn those into your hangers because the friction of the fuzzy stuff on the pipe cleaners makes the clothes stay put you know what I'm saying so it just looks like they've got furry fuzzy um, hangers but it doesn't look bad so that's what I do and it seems to work just fine and of course as this whole thing gets filled up the weight may or may not affect how well everything stays put, but when it comes time to close it up, you're gonna have to lay it flat inside of your closet. That's what it's missing. You know what it's missing? It's missing like pegs so you can hang stuff up. Like there are purses and things that have long handles. If it's just something that has a small handle, like a clutch or something, then it would lay in here a lot easier but because it doesn't that might make it kind of annoying trying to you know fit long handled purses like the ones I have into your little closet but nonetheless it's all good but everything looks nice and neat inside here so I do like that and um, and also I like that this cabinet the top of it could could work as a ledge um, that your dolls can just kind of sit in and chillax. So I, I like that too. It's a nice place for them to pose and take pictures while they're chilling and waiting for their girlfriends to change outfits. So that's pretty much the the gist of it. I mean, it was, it's not anything too complex. Um, it's a very, very simple toy. Perfect for kids and adults alike. And I'm really looking forward to customizing this piece and sharing that with you guys. So I'll let you see how it turns out when I'm done. But I'm this is one of those things I would definitely get like two or three of and just line them all up with each other. And um, kind of go in with the customizing. Because I think it would turn out real cool. And if you guys decide to customize yours, make sure that you tag me in your pictures so I can see them on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this review. Thank you, Zandria and Santina, for being our models today. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. I'll try my best to answer it for y'all. And I'll try to leave you guys a link at where you can find this online if you can't get to a Walmart store. Um, so just check the, the links in the description box. And I'll talk to you later. I'm Gypsy. I'm getting out of here. You guys have a dolly day. Trying to rectify it by apologizing, but the look up in your face let me know you think I'm lying. But sorry that I did this to you.